Yo, what's up? It's Jay Westman here, aka the Lazy R Stoner, and in this short video, I'm going to explain to you exactly what SEO is, how it works, and how I use it to get my sites ranking on the first page of Google and making a shitload of money. And I'll show you how you can do it too. Now, if you're watching this from my free Make Money Online Crash Course, then you should already know what affiliate marketing is, how it works, how to find low competition and profitable niches, and how to set up kick-ass websites in a matter of minutes. However, if you're watching this from somewhere else like YouTube, then you can catch up on the first part of the Crash Course by heading over to lazyarstoner.com slash newbie. So what the hell is SEO? Well, SEO is basically just the art of getting your site to the top of the search engines for whatever word or words that you're trying to rank for. So if I have a site about antique paintings, for example, and I want my site to be at the top of Google, every time someone searches for antique paintings, then I use SEO to get it there. SEO is extremely lucrative because Google gets so many searches every day that if you do manage to get your site to the top of Google for a good niche, then you can expect a flood of visitors and sales every day. Sure, you can get tons of traffic from social networks and other places too. However, with Google, you're putting your site right in front of people the moment that they're looking to buy. Whereas if they see a random link on Facebook or something like that, they might think, oh, that's interesting, I'll check it out but there's a far less chance that they're actually going to buy. And that's why SEO is so damn powerful and so damn profitable. So what does SEO actually stand for? Well, SEO stands for Search Engine Optimization, which basically just means optimizing your site for the search engines so that they like it and want to put your site at the top of their results. And even though the word optimizing might sound technical and super complicated, I promise you it's really not. In fact, to get our site to the first page of Google, there's just two things that we really need to do. And one is have the words that you want your site to rank for on your site. And two is have other quality sites linking to your site. I repeat that. One, you wanna have the words that you wanna rank for on your site. And two, you want to have other quality sites linking to your site. So let me explain a little bit more. The first thing, having the words that you want to rank for on your site, which we call keywords. Keywords are just the words that your site is targeting. So if my site is targeting antique paintings, then antique paintings is my keyword. Now what you wanna do is just make sure that your keyword is placed throughout your site. Now this might sound obvious, but it's really important because Google will scan over your whole site and look at all of the words that are on that page so it knows what your site is about and what words your site should be ranking for. You want your keywords wherever you can put them. You want them in your titles, in your domain name if you can. You want to put them in your main content and your image descriptions too. So here's an example site I set up, Mentalism Zone, that targets the keyword mentalism. And as you can see, I have the word mentalism in the domain name itself, I have it in the titles, I have it in the descriptions, I have it everywhere. And all of these Google will see and they'll say, hey, I think this site must be about mentalism, maybe we should have it turn up when people Google mentalism. Pretty straightforward, right? But just a word of caution, don't go over the top with this. You don't need to make every second word on your site the keyword that you wanna rank for. The last thing I would want is for my site to say, welcome to Mentalism Zone, the mentalism site for mentalism people who like mentalism books and mentalism tricks and mentalism so on. 
Don't do that, there's no need, and it will just make your site look spammy to Google. Instead, just drop it in here and there, make it sound natural, and just keep in mind that you want it included on your site. There's really no need to overdo it. Now, if you build your sites in WordPress like I do, and you want a bit more information on exactly where to put your keywords so that Google knows what your site is about, then if you're watching this video in my newbie crash course, you'll find Find details on that below this video or if you're watching this from elsewhere then you can get the free crash course by heading over to lazyarstoner.com slash newbie but putting your keywords on your site is the easy bit the trickier bit is the second thing that you need to do to get your site ranking in Google and that's two having other quality sites linking to your site so basically we want to get lots of other high quality websites to place a link on their site that points to ours. And the reason is quite simple, and once you understand this, you'll basically understand why some sites rank better than others in Google. You see, Google doesn't have time to just manually go through each site and say, that one's good, that one's bad, this one should be at the top. They don't just have some dude sitting at a desk deciding which sites get ranked where. What Google does is they scan every website on the internet and they look at every link on every page that's out there. Then every time they see one website linking to another website, Google sees this as a kind of vote for that website and gives them a little boost in the search engines. So when Google sees that site A is linking to site B, and they say, well, hey, site B must be pretty damn good if site A is linking to them. Maybe we should rank them a little better in the search engines. Then if site B gets lots of links from other websites, that site rises to the top of the search engines. Basically, the whole of the web is a giant popularity contest. The logic behind this is that the best sites and content out there get linked to by lots of other sites, so by just counting the number of links that each site gets, Google has a really quick and easy way to determine which sites rank where. In SEO, we call these links from other sites to our site backlinks. And it's a term you'll hear me and other people refer to a lot in the SEO world. So remember it, backlinks, they're links from other sites to your site. And you want them because the more of them you get, the better your site ranks and the more money you'll make. So the name of the game is really just to get as many high quality backlinks as possible because if we can get more high quality backlinks than our competitors, then our site will rank better, we'll get more traffic and we'll make more money. Now you might be wondering, well what exactly counts as a high quality backlink and why don't we just want links from any old website? Well, a high quality backlink is just a link from a website that's been around for a while, that's established, and that itself has a lot of other sites linking to it. And the reason we want links from high quality websites is because Google gives more weight to sites that have been around for a while and that are established than from little tiny blogs and sites that were only set up yesterday or that are full of spam. So basically in this giant popularity contest that is the internet, the votes from the already popular kids count the most. For example, if you manage to score a link from a seriously established site like Wikipedia or CNN.com, then that would be way more valuable than a link from some random blog that was only just set up yesterday that nobody's ever heard of. And this is the reason that I only focus on high quality backlinks from high quality websites. It's all about quality over quantity. In fact, many times I've been easily able to outrank websites that have hundreds and hundreds of backlinks from low quality websites with just a handful of backlinks from high quality websites. 
But this is something that a lot of people still don't get about SEO. There are tons of guys out there running around spending all of their time building thousands and thousands of low quality backlinks from spammy websites and they're wondering why guys like me are so easily able to outrank them with much fewer backlinks. Again, it all just comes down to quality over quantity. But here's the big question that I'm sure you're wondering. How the hell are we meant to get all of these high quality authority sites to link to us? It's not like we can just email CNN and say, hey, link to me, bro. But the thing is, you don't need a backlink from CNN because there are tons of other established authority websites out there that will actually let you sign up and create a link yourself. I'm talking about Facebook.com, Twitter.com, Reddit.com, Pinterest.com. All of these sites as well as thousands of others actually let you create a free account so that you can then post your links to them. Furthermore, another technique that you can use is just searching for forums that are related to your niche. So you could just search for your niche forums in Google and you'll find tons of niche related forums that you can sign up to and post your links to. Now in this video I'm not going to get too into exactly where to build your links and how because I've already covered that many times over on my blog lazyarstoner.com. But basically there are a ton of high quality sites that you can sign up to and post your backlink to yourself. So to recap, to get your site to the first page of Google, you need to one, include the word or words that you wanna rank for on your site. And two, you need to get other high quality sites to link to your site. Now I know this might sound overly simple and some people might be thinking, well it can't be that easy, can it? But the thing is, it can. A hell of a lot of people out there try to overcomplicate this SEO thing. They say you need to buy complicated and expensive bots and software that are worth hundreds or even thousands of dollars. They say you need to build tens and thousands of backlinks to your site to make any money at all. They say you need to do all kinds of crazy shit. But fuck that, because you really don't. If you just stick to the basics and just choose a good low competition niche and you set up a site that targets that niche and then you build high quality backlinks to your website, you can get top rankings, you can get visitors and you can get sales. So don't get caught up in the next big shiny thing or some super cool advanced SEO tool that does everything for you in one click. Just stick to the basics and I promise you this shit does work. I know it firsthand. I've used this exact strategy to dominate niches and make money from them so many times it's crazy. And if you want a real life example of this stuff in action, then just head over to mentalismzone.com. Now I normally don't reveal my actual sites to people because then a hundred people go out and copy my niche but hopefully it'll help you to see that this stuff does not need to be complicated at all. So at the moment, this site ranks in the top spots for a ton of mentalism related keywords. It's in the top spots for mentalism, which gets over 8,000 searches a month. It's in the top spots for learn mentalism, which gets 390 searches a month. It ranks for mentalism books, which gets 720 searches a month. It ranks for mentalism tricks, which gets 1,900 searches a month and it ranks for a whole bunch of other shit too and when you look at the site it's really nothing special it's just a simple WordPress powered site just like I showed you how to set up in my how to build a website in 10 minutes video which you can watch again here and I literally just set this site up in a few minutes and then spent a couple of hours writing the content for it. In total, the site only has six pages. Furthermore, it doesn't have thousands of links to it. Hell, it doesn't even have hundreds of links pointing to it. It only has a few dozen links from places like Pinterest and Tumblr and Facebook and Twitter and a few 
mentalism forums that I quickly joined and created a link on. But because I took the time to find a low competition niche that nobody else was going after, and because I took the time to build high quality links, from high quality websites. The site is now at the top of Google, it gets over a thousand visitors a day and makes sales on autopilot. It's making me constant sales through the Amazon affiliate program for things like mentalism books. It also makes money through a clickbank.com affiliate program for a mentalism course where I get 50% of all sales. As I said before, if you're watching this from somewhere else and you missed the rest of my newbie crash course, then you can get it by clicking here or heading over to lazyarstoner.com slash newbie. Inside that free crash course, I'll teach you everything you need to know to build your own profitable niche sites. And finally, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel on YouTube, then you can do that here so that you don't miss out on more no bullshit, no hype videos about how to really make money online. That's all from me today, so peace out, rock on, and go and make some money.